Hey beauties, good morning to you. Happy Women's Day today again. All right, so I realized yesterday the mayors were sworn in today and you know, the councillors and so on. Some are still under the whole magisterial uh, recount. Um, you know, and, and I pray the the correct thing will come true, you know, that there is no rigging of anything or so on. Because I saw Minister Tufton talking last night that he doesn't trust um, the electoral system because of some sort of discrepancy that he was having in, where is his um, constituency again? I don't even remember where it was. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't even know if it's St. Elizabeth's side or wherever it is, you know, and he was giving the figures last evening. So I hope that the right thing will happen, you know. I pray that the right thing will happen. But my particular post is sort of an encouragement, a charge to the councillors thus far who have been sworn in and the mayors who have been sworn in. I saw the youngest, uh, Mr. Vernon, I don't know his last name, boy people. I had it, had it last evening, you know, and still forgot it. That's why I like to jot down things and kind of glance at it when I'm doing this because the names and I, boy, we need to become friends. But, you know, I it's not just about youth. It's about competen competency. It is about t teachability. It is about accountability. It is about doing the right thing, you know, for the people in your constituents, in your community, you know, and at large, the Jamaican society, because each pocket will affect the entire whole. You don't bake a cake and just bake it with the eggs alone or bake it with the, 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 um, the what should I say, the milk alone or the, um, other ingredients that you would use you don't bake it separately you know you won't get a cake you know but you still need all ingredients you still need to make sure that all ingredients are in tip-top condition and good you know that they're not spoiled or soiled or tainted and defective and so on you have to ensure that yes beautiful people so you know it's my charge my encouragement to the mayors you know, congratulations in particular to that young me. I felt, I, you know, because I'm still fairly young and so on, just a few years, you know, above this mayor here. And I feel good when I see young people are given a chance. I like, I love the scripture where in, I think it is in the book of Timothy, maybe, where Paul said to Timothy, do not let them despise your youth. Despise doesn't, it means to hate upon, to put down, to be condescending, to treat in an unseeming way because you're young. They feel maybe you're young, you're foolish, you're inexperienced. That may be true, but they too were young and they had to learn to get the experience. Sometimes through arduous situations, through difficulties, through trials, through tribulations. But you can't, it's about persistence. Persistence and faith really are the same thing. When you persist to do the right thing, you will come out victorious. And your name will be called among the greats. So I wish that man Vernon in particular, not to say that I don't wish the others, you know, to do well. But he's young, he's vibrant, he has energy, and um, he seems, I use the word seem, like he means business. I don't even know who is who, to be honest, on which side. I think he's maybe on the Jamaica Labour Party's side, I think, you know, and so on. But I, I don't know the others. I don't know the others. And obviously, because he's young, you know, I, I, I was a more attuned to him, you know. But it doesn't mean for the others, whether you're old or you're young, you decided to take on a mantle. It means that you're in service of the people. You're working for the people in your constituency, in your communities. Do what it said you have signed up to do. Do what you have signed up to do, please. All counselors, the mayors, whatever. When you get the monies, use it for the people. Don't pocket it. Use it for the people because, you see, they have raised... They said, come in April, the council salary raising. I don't even know by how, how many, how much, how, um, how much is the, um, sorry, is the percentage. But it's a big jump. It's almost like, it's like you'd say, for example, they were 1 million and they go to 4 million, something like that. You know? Or 1 point something million going clo close to 5 million based on the um, trajectory and what was projected to us in fairly recent times. Don't do that. It's not, you, you, you call on curses on yourself. You call down curses on yourselves. Don't do it. Help the people. You will be happy in life. Most of you are not happy because you have pocketed monies and you have not helped people. Don't do it and it ages you. It makes you look ugly. 
it makes you look ugly. ET has a more beautiful look than some of you. Do the right thing. And I'm speaking in general across the board, not just with politicians, people on the whole. Don't allow money to be your ruler. That's why many of you have met, you know, you have met some, come upon some dark and decadent experiences that seemingly not moving because of the things that you have done to people. You see that first commandment, part A and part B, I call it, God takes it very seriously. You put no other gods before him. You love him with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your strength. And what part B says, love your neighbor, treat your neighbor the very same way you want to be treated. So I'm wishing, I'm, I'm hoping, whether you're PNP or GLP, or if it's an independent party, I don't think any had gotten, you know. Please do right by the people in your constituency, in your division, in your community, whatever you want to call it. You understand. You, you're, you're given a mandate under the local govern, government auspices. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let me hear for change, you know, where people can say this council is a good councillor. And I don't, I don't mean a one person here scattered somewhere. Let me hear that this mayor is a good mayor. Let us hear quite a number of that by the people on both sides. People, even if they are diehearted PNP or they are diehearted GLP, they must say, boy, I'm a diehearted GLP, you know, but, you know, said so a PNP councillor or mayor, I'm really doing the work. I'm really, really doing work. And the GLP, similarly, I'm a diehearted GLP, you know, but this PNP councillor, you know, really doing work on this GLP councillor. If it's a PNP in, in, in um, leading that area, you know, it said, by my diet at PNP, this GLP councillor really working hard. This GLP mayor is really doing a good job. I can't deny him that. We must hear that. We need to hear that. It is for the people. We are for the people, for the people. Please, please. Jamaica has been through a difficult times, especially since COVID has come in. I cannot see a time where Jamaica has thrived and prospered in the way it ought to have for the last, for, since 1962, when we were given, we were emancipated and then given independence a few days later. And you cannot say successfully that even 50% of the populace are doing well mentally, physically, financially, socially, you know, emotionally. People, it's like a struggle year after year after year and it seemingly gets worse have a heart for people know that you too are human know that you're going to be extinct one day you're not going to escape this life alive you're not even going to stay in this life for, for very long even if you live to be 120 as the book of ecclesiastes said you're going to be dead longer than you had lived so might as well just do good no do good because let me tell you something I something I realize being around a lot of elderly people when you're old your mind tends to be like a collection of all the experiences that you have had when you were younger they're going to come back into your minds that is why sometimes you find I feel it it have, maybe that is why sometimes I say maybe I am not a medical doctor I'm only just saying this on my opinion maybe that's why sometimes people suffer from Alzheimer's dementia any sort of mental issue when they get very old I know they say sometimes it has to do with if it's not hereditary, it is um heredity, heredity, hereditary. Uh, I just said it right, you know. But anyway, um, you know something passing down from your ancestors coming up, you know, like what they used to say. That's how people with cancer it used to be hereditary, you know, hereditary. Yeah, uh, uh, God, yeah, gonna get it good one day, right? Please do right by the people do right by the people of Jamaica, the, the people in your community. Ensure the roads in the communities are fixed, water is given, help people to go back to school. Some people may not have grocery, whatever it is that falls genuinely under the local government auspices, do it. Councillors and mayors, please. Vernon, you're the youngest, youngest ever. Please, just do your best. You're not going to be perfect. None of us are. But do your best. Please. I really ask this of you, councillors and mayors all across the island. Even when the ones are settled after the magisterial recount or wherever it goes. Just do right by the people, please. Guys, follow me on TikTok. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.